Hi, everyone. My name is Evan Ortlieb, and welcome to another edition of Education for Today. We're going to be looking at how to choose the appropriate statistical test to be able to think through data analysis in the quantitative domain. There are really three types of research questions that fall into this category. The first is trying to measure differences in groups. The second is the association or the strength of a relationship within a correlational analysis. And the third is a predictive analysis and looking into regression. So if we think about differences in groups, let's say that we had two groups, one uh, uh, received a math intervention, if you will, and one was a control group that did not receive that same intervention during that course of study. So these would be looking at academic achievement scores through a parametric lens, and we would be looking at two independent groups. And therefore, we would be able to choose an independent, uh, independent samples t-test, right? So it would not be a directional analysis. We would leave it as, as a, as a two-way analysis, if you will, without making a particular hypothesis of which way we went with that, okay? So that's one option. Uh, and there's several different options within here. Uh, uh, and if you had more than two, more than two groups or, and or more than two independent variables, we would choose other sorts of measures. So again, let's say that we had three groups. One received uh, one intervention, one received a different intervention, and one received no intervention at all. So two experimental groups and one control group. We would be doing an ANOVA to be able to determine uh, an analysis of variance, ANOVA, between those three outcomes. Association or strength of relationship. Here we would be trying to say, is there a relationship, let's say, between SAT scores and college success or college performance, right? So that would be one uh, way to think about the relationship between two or more variables. So we would go down here, we'd follow the parametric and we'd be looking at a linear analysis, trying to determine if indeed uh, there's, that, there's that slope of as SAT scores go up, so does college success, for instance. Uh, and we would be using a Pearson R uh, for the um, uh, a type of evaluation. Again, the third kind is a predictive analysis. So let's say that, um, you know, does, <clears throat> does this intervention cause students to be uh, uh, less motivated in school? So is it a cause? Not is it a relationship, but what are those causes? What are the causes? And we have to think about regression to be able to accomplish that. These are much harder to do within educational context in particular, because you can't always control of, um, a number of different variables. So again, if we're looking for that linear relationship between two or more variables, and we're looking at one independent variable, we're looking at a simple linear regression to be able to make that determination. And the interesting thing here is that we would be able to say, for instance, that that intervention led to an 18% decrease in uh, self-efficacy or motivation or whatever it was we were, we were measuring and the degree with which it impacted that which is a really cool thing to think about when we're trying to choose the appropriate statistical test to engage in quantitative data analysis.